Hi everyone, welcome to Bodyworks Prime. Today we're going to be going over the origin, the insertion and the action of the levator scapulae muscle. So we can see pictured here the levator scapulae from a posterior view. And if we move over to the side, we can see a lateral view of the levator scapulae here. So the levator scapulae muscle is going to originate on the transverse processes of the cervical spine, specifically C1, C2, C3 and C4. And I've put a little picture in the top left here. And this is a cross-sectional view of one of the cervical spine. So it's looking down essentially on it. And the transverse process is this projection right here. So on each of these lateral sides we got our transverse process and this is a section which the levator scapulae is going to connect to so obviously it's going to be connecting to each of these sections on the cervical spine and it's going to be on each of the sections transverse process so moving back to a posterior view we can see the insertion of the levator scapulae muscle right here so specifically, that's on the superior angle of the medial border of the scapula. So we're back again with the scatter model. Let's go over the actions of the levator scapulae muscle. So it's coming from the cervical spine down to the scapula. So it'll be over this section here. So it's got two primary actions, really. The first is to elevate the scapula. So if I'm shrugging my shoulders up like this, my scapula is coming along for the ride. It's coming upwards as well. So that's going to be the levator scapulae assisting in that movement. Now as well, because it's somewhat on the medial side and the superior side on this section right here, it's going to, that's going to allow it to also tilt the scapula. So another, another action of it is to actually tilt the scapula in this kind of a movement. So you can imagine it's tilting it. And as it tilts, that's going to lower the glenoid cavity right here. So the glenoid cavity where, is where the head of the humerus is sitting, and that glenoid cavity is going to be tilted, it's going to come down, move inferiorly, a little bit lower. So those are two primary actions, the levator scapulae muscle. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, you know which buttons to press. Press those buttons, it really helps out the channel. Thank you very much for watching everyone, I'll see you all next time.